Halo 3 ODST release date has been announced, but why is it so much more than just this game coming to PC? We got things like Firefight, improvements to Halo 3, and a brand new season coming, and so much more. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like this news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Helps the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to see this video to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourselves up to date with everything happening in the Halo franchise. So let's get right into the information here. So yes, we finally have the release date of ODST coming to PC has been announced. It's going to be coming September 22nd, which is actually going to be the 11th anniversary of this game. Rather poetic if you think about it that way. So now reading that title probably like, okay, cool, ODC campaign, whatever, it's whatever, you know, it's coming to PC, cool. No, there's so much more than just ODST coming to PC, guys. For one thing, we're getting Firefight into the matchmaking and also in custom games for the console and PC as well, which Firefight for ODST is widely regarded as the best version of Firefight to play, and I would probably have to agree with that. After my extensive playtime with the flight and playing a lot of Firefight, because, well, matchmaking was kind of dead at the time during those flights, because it's such a small player base, that I really got a chance to experience this, and yes, playing it and matchmaking is a lot of fun. It's a really great way to kind of just jump in, play some of the fun, new, unique mechanics of ODST, but the, where Firefight truly shines is in custom games. There you really get a chance to test your skills because on the matchmaker version, it's limited to just 15 waves. In the custom games, you can go as many as you want and each wave gets more and more difficult. So you, it's a really fun challenge to actually get a chance to play. And I'd highly suggest you guys find a way to play with 300 people to make some custom games for ODST Firefight and see how long you can go. But there are some great changes coming to Firefight as well as we're also getting the Halo 3 Battle Rifle, which is pretty freaking awesome in Firefight, along with a bunch of extra customization options for the game mode itself that we never really had previously with the original ODST. So this is really proving to be the best version of ODST Firefight you guys can jump in and play. I mean, heck, even 343 looked in the ways to bring in the elephant in to firefight but just technical limitations just didn't allow that to happen now the shining gem of ODC coming to pc is obviously the fantastic campaign which is great you know we uh, we'll probably all experience it on the mcc when it originally released on there but the great thing about this is since it's coming to pc you have so many great options like be able to play in 4k which is pretty freaking sweet a limited frames which actually work in this game as well i've played it and it looks buttery smooth it plays super well guys so this really will be the best looking version of ODC you could possibly play on any platform. Play it on PC, trust me, it'll be a game changer. Now beyond just ODST, there are some extra stuff coming to the MCC. One, we have a brand new season coming, season three, which is gonna be very ODST focused, but with a lot of extra Halo 3 customization as well. This time there will only be 50 tiers, but with 80 items mixed in with those tiers, you're able to unlock your different ODST character customizations for Firefight through this season pass as well. And yes, you can still unlock your items in season one and season two. Those are not going away. You can still, but then I'm just adding on season three on top of that. Changes and additions coming to Halo 3 on top of this as well as we have the Silence SMG and the Auto Mag coming in, as well as the Brute Plaza Rifle coming into the sandbox of Halo 3. So you guys can play around with that. Custom games, I'm sure there will be specific timed matchmaking game modes as well coming with that. And within that new season pass comes brand new customization for Halo 3 things like weapon skins armor variation colors and that's about it right now we have a limited amount of what we can have though they do allude in season 4 which will be coming with the release of halo 4 there'll be more options coming in as well as in hopefully a gold skin for a battle rifle and things like that but in this clip you can kind of see the different variations of colors you can use different uh weapon skins which the some of the corrosion weapon skins for like the pistol and battle rifle do look really freaking awesome. Uh, but the greatest change with this is the Halo 3 hit detection. What they did is that they doubled the bullet velocity for very close range engagements. So you'll be feeling a much more snappy, much more true to the original Halo 3 experience when it comes to the hit detection in this game. I have a couple video clips as you can show the difference between the retail version currently and also what it's going to look like. It's gonna be much more similar to what it was back in the original Halo 3 days than what we've been experiencing with the Halo 3 MCC version. 
And let me tell you guys, this Halo 3 hit detection change is a total game changer for Halo 3. It kind of spoiled me, honestly, where I didn't actually want to go back and play retail Halo 3 until this update came out. That's how good it is, guys. Trust me, once this releases on the September 22nd, you're going to want to jump in and play some Halo 3. You will instantly notice the difference. It's a way better time to play. And outside of Halo 3 and ODST, we actually have new customization options for Halo 2 Anniversary. Much like you can with Halo Reach, where you can put individual art pieces together, you can now do that with Halo 2 Anniversary on the release of ODST on the 22nd. Now, I'm sure you've probably been hearing a lot of rumors about custom game browser, cross-play, input-based matchmaking, Season 4, and all that kind of stuff. Well, I have those in other videos. If you want to check those out, link in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.